From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Afternoon Edition. Right now on the Afternoon Edition, breaking news, dozens of pro-Palestine protesters block security gates and take over SFO. Good afternoon, I'm Elizabeth Cook in for Ryan Yamamoto today. The protests impacting travelers at the International Terminal. Let's get right to Max Darrow live at SFO. Max, what can you tell us? Liz, that protest wrapped up just a couple of minutes ago, and as of right now, it is back to business as usual here at SFO. People are coming in and out of the G gates here in the International Terminal, and let's take you live outside. Our chopper is flying above. You can see traffic moving in and out of the International Terminal as if nothing had happened here. But earlier, that was not the case. Let's take you to some earlier video here. This will show protesters blocking the entrance to the International Terminal. Cars could not come in or out of the area. Passengers were rerouted through other parts of the airport. And then inside the International Terminal, different groups of protesters blocked the security gates at the A gates and at the G gates here in the International Terminal. The protesters, they were chanting things like stop the siege on Gaza, shut it down for Palestine, free Gaza, and there was a a sign on the way into the airport that said nobody flies while Gaza dies. When talking to some of the protesters here, they told us that their message is loud and clear. They'd like to see a permanent ceasefire between Israel and Hamas as the war in Gaza rages on. Some also say they would like the U.S. to stop funding Israel. I spoke with one protester at the very front of the line at one point in the middle of this protest today who told me that they have written their congressional representatives, they've spoken out, but they said they have not seen any change. They feel like taking steps like this one are necessary, making sure their voices are heard and getting their points across. Here's what another protester had to say. We want people to know that although we don't want to negatively impact our community, it cannot be business as usual. So again, the protest has wrapped up. It was a peaceful protest from everything that we were able to see. There are no issues, no arrests to report at this time. There was a hefty law enforcement presence here with personnel from multiple different law enforcement agencies. This is a public place, SFO, so people do have the right to come and protest here, but airport officials told us they needed to make sure that they could find a way to allow people to exercise that right, while also making sure that people who are traveling in and out of SFO were able to continue to navigate through the airport and get to wherever they were headed. We'll update you if we hear anything on any kinds of issues that stemmed from this protest, but at this point, no issues to report, and it is business as usual here at SFO, Liz. All right, business as usual. Max, thank you.